Hey everybody, Spectrum Minecraft here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video about the new game that came out in beta this month called Starbound. The game can be quite overwhelming for people who actually have even played Terraria or other games that are sort of like it before. I'm going to be bringing you guys the top 10 most basic things that you will need to know that aren't blatantly obvious and shown to you in the tutorial or whatever. I can save you some pain by doing this, and it's a really quick video guys, so here is my list. Number 1 the very first thing that you're going to need to know, even before you make your first character, is that the species of the character that you choose will actually change a lot in the game. Your spaceship, all of your armor, and even some of the quests and missions in the game will be completely different based on the species of the character that you selected. Number 2 The other thing that you're going to want to keep in mind is that your health won't automatically regenerate. This means that you should be a lot more careful in fights. To get health back when it is lost, try sleeping in a bed or crafting some bandages out of the vines that you've knocked down. Number 3 If you have a sword that says one-handed somewhere in the description, it can't be a two-handed broadsword, you can actually dual wield it with a shield in your other hand. But to do this you have to put both of your weapons in the left and right boxes at the top of your screen. In the middle of the five boxes on one side, the five boxes on the other left side of your handheld inventory. Number four. This may seem blatantly obvious to this video, but I'm gonna say it to you anyways because I sat there for probably five minutes just whacking my keyboard. And I got pretty damn mad because I couldn't figure out how to zoom out in your star map. So lo and behold, right click and it will take you out so you can see more. Number five. Holding down the shift key when clicking an object in a chest or any other storage compartment really will immediately move it over into your inventory and this is really handy especially when you're in dungeons trying to loot chests quickly. Number 6 I actually didn't learn this until I would played Starbound for at least 5 or 6 hours but if you right click with the building material that you were holding it will actually put it as the backdrop. Number 7 it took me equally as long to figure this out as it did for the last one, but holding shift while holding a building material will turn that cluster in your hand into a single nice block so that you can actually place things and make some awesome stuff. Number 8 If you're having a hard time finding ores, try looking deeper down. This is completely situational since all ore spawns are random, but the deeper down you go, I find that there are more and more common to find really massive ore veins and obviously there's going to be rarer elements as well. Number 9 If your pickaxe is breaking, you can tell by that red bar under it, the smaller and smaller it gets eventually will just break. So if you take any type of ore, copper to diamond works and right click on your pickaxe holding that ore, it will actually heal your pickaxe. And last but not least, number 10, and I'm also going to apologize for all those creepy ass pedo number transitions that were going on throughout this video. You can only beam up to your ship if the wall behind you is open air. And no, this does not mean that while you're down in a cave you can break the wall that you're standing behind and beam up to your ship. It literally has to be the surface air with like the mountain pretty backgrounds in the background. Well, you probably know what I mean. Alright guys, that's it for now. And if that wasn't embarrassing enough for me because it was a terribly scripted, I just hope that you guys actually learned something from that. Please send this to your noob Starbound friends or just like the video if it helped you out. Because honestly a lot of these things took me a while to learn. And these are some of the things that I didn't figure out at first playing Starbound. But I really wish that I had known from the start. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Please give me tips on how I can make my videos better. I understand that this was kind of a joke. Terrible scripting, even though I didn't even script it. Um, yeah, it took me quite a while to make too, but that's all for this video, guys. Again, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, because I'm a subscriber whoring. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Spectrum out. Ah, shit. One last thing that I forgot to say. Thank you so much to Rimshocks for the beautiful music and letting me use it. Guys, go check him out. He makes some amazing stuff. Now, that's actually it, I think, for this video. That is all. Thanks for watching. Spectrum out.